And I think we are live. Yes, we are live. All right, how's everyone doing? This is Jerome Parker, aka Master Shake 08. And today on my coding live stream, I have been asked to do a WebRTC app, a voice calling app. So, uh, since I like to answer my fans callings I decided to do it so we're going to be using peer JS to get it done um, oh, having there we go yeah we're gonna be using peer JS uh, you guys can see it right so PeerJS is a website that utilizes WebRTC. So you can do peer-to-peer -peer data, peer-to-peer -peer video, or peer-to-peer -peer audio. And for those of you who are not familiar with the WebRTC spec, it is a Java or not Java, an HTML5 specification that allows for real-time communication. So let's just get right into it uh, we're gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing this app in Laravel to handle all the, the back-end functionality and like I said peer JS to handle the front-end functionality so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and handle all this so need to make the go ahead and just make the website host I'm just gonna call it uh, peer.app. Let's see. No, there we go. And I'm using Laravel Homestead in case you guys are wondering what I'm doing. Uh, what about peer.app? Like that. So we're gonna call it we're gonna call it peer.app. And we'll call it call the app peer. Call it database peer. And we're gonna do vagrant up. All right. While that's doing that, while that's doing that, I'm just gonna speak a little bit more about what we're doing. So, like I said, we're gonna be using peer JS as a JavaScript and that's a uh, library that's going to handle a lot of the heavy lifting and we're also going to be running peer server which is the uh, back end to run the peer JS now you can get a free web API and use the peer server cloud but then you're only limited to 50 concurrent connections and um, you don't want to do that I did say So we're so after so we're gonna add the uh, peer server on the back end as well. It, it is all pretty easy. Like the, the the app is only gonna be at the the front end. It's only gonna be. I, I'm pretty sure it's less than fifty lines. I'm I'm very positive it's less than fifty lines. This is pretty. It's gonna be a pretty short live stream. Uh, we're gonna have more time doing setting setting stuff up than anything. All right. Let's see. Vagrant SSH. Um, all right, cool. Let's see code. Let's see Laravel new peer. 
And now, it's, now we're crafting the application. And uh, let's see, is this using Laravel 5.6? I guess we'll find out in a second. I don't know 5.6 just came out. so long nope she's in layer 5.5 Any day now, it'll be done, I promise. I'm actually streaming from my laptop today. So I don't know if you guys are seeing. Um, I don't know how the um, quality is. Finishing up any time now. Any day now, it'll be done, I promise. Right, I'm gonna turn it down. Okay, it's generating auto load files. That's good. This is always like the awkward part of the stream when it's like setting, scaffolding everything. It's just like, I don't know. But uh, like I was saying, so basically, um, when you sign it, when you create an account, you're gonna get a um, an ID, and your ID is just gonna be your uh, your username. Um, here, let's generate a key. All right, now that should. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, God damn it, I got a reprovision. Vagrant provision. Well, that's running. Yeah, because I, I created the app after I did the initial uh, provision on the, on the um, virtual machine, I got a reprovision. It'll take a few minutes. I guess while I was doing that, I can go ahead and make the GitHub so you guys can see the code when I'm finished. And I'm just going to call it um, Peer Calling. Voice Calling App. Written. Yes, and let's create repository. Back hurts. All right, 
so we got that going. And also, don't uh, if you got any questions, you know, put it up in the live chat. I will be checking it periodically during the stream. Cool. Now let's go back in. Back into the uh, Laravel Homestead virtual machine. Like I said, guys, I, I don't know how the quality is. I usually um, stream from my Mac and I'm on my laptop now. So we're going to go to Peer. And we're gonna add um, we're gonna add the peer server, and we're gonna add the uh, client. And then where is it? Peer.js. Oh, that was quick. All right. Uh, is there anything else we need to add? I think that's it. So let's go ahead and scaffold the. Um, let's go ahead and scaffold uh, the uh, authentication. So we're going to do PHP artisan make auth. go to Adam oh yeah get init get add oopsie get add uh, all get commit dash M So just added it to get and uh, so if you head over to github.com slash master shake zero eight slash peer dash calling you'll see the um, uh, you'll, you'll see the the code all right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, edit the default migration for the users. Well, actually, now that I think about it, we might not have to edit it. Might just have to, let's see, add project folder, code. Uh,
integrations, use this table. Yeah, let's just call this username. Um, so, uh, sorry, work. I work from home, so you know when they send me messages, gotta gotta answer it anyway so username and then that's all we're gonna do and then on the um, resources on the authentication registration we're gonna call this uh, username and this is also going to be your peer ID username 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 and username all right and then on the auth we'll make that username and make that username make that username all right save now, now this should work. Peer app. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do register. Oh, I need to. Um, I need to set the database up. to say username all right master shake zero eight migration PHP artisan migrate all right refresh continue <coughs> username doesn't have a default value oh shit okay yeah my bad I forgot to edit the users model that needs to say username. We'll get there eventually. All right, there you go. So now we're here on the home screen, and this is where uh, all the coding is going to go for the uh, Peer JS. So we are going to be using Vue.js uh, as the front end source. But before we set that up, I guess we should set up the peer server so we have something to talk to. So I'm going to create a new file right here. We'll call it uh, peer.js. Um, and. Cool, you just run the server like this. Um, here, somebody. Yeah, well, let's see. So I guess we just run this peer JS. And of course, on a production server, you're gonna want to use something like um, 
supervisor or whatnot to make sure that this is running the whole time. So we're just requiring the uh, peer server and we're setting up with port 9000 and uh, the path, we're just gonna call it slash peer. Right, let's go ahead and run this. Um, no peer. Yes. All right, cool. So that's running. We'll stop it real quick. Just wanted to make sure that it was running. All right, so what we're going to do is going we're going to make some uh, view components. So yeah, we'll put this here. Window dot peer. All right, window dot peer equals require um, peer. Wait, was it peer dot js? Require peer js. All right, peer js. All right, we're just gonna rename this component. We're going to call this call component. What's up, Brian Jones? How you doing? So we got the call component. And then basically what we're gonna do is um, I'll just call this call component. Place a call by putting the caller ID in, uh, in the Sorry, work call, and I just told him about to call him back. All right, <clears throat> place place a call by putting the caller ID in the box below and hit the call button. Your caller ID is um, caller uh, user dot username oh, shoot username 
and I know I, I haven't put that in there yet but basically what we're going to do is just pass in um, we're going to pass in the user object as a property into the component so we'll have all the user information uh, in there Just using created. So in the created function, we want this. Call this user. This dot user equals base. Uh, actually, this will just be fine with this dot user object. I'm gonna call this user object instead. Just gonna make sure I'm doing this right. Double checking some work. Okay, yeah, I don't need that. Um, I don't need that function right there. All right, so that's that. What's up, Gecko? All right, so after that, we also need to set this dot peer equals peer, peer dot, or my bad, new peer. New peer, and then it's gonna be this dot user dot user name host local host So we're getting the user object, we're creating the peer. I think that's all we need to do on the created method. 
and then we need the data. Return up here. That's gonna be. Am I doing that right? Yep, sure I am. All right, cool. Up here, and then we got user, and I think that's all we need right there. And then lastly, we need some methods. And I think that, yep, okay. So we got a place call. Um, I believe I did that right. Place call. Yep, yep. We got place call. Oh, yeah, we also need a caller ID. All right, so we got place call. We got answer call. Then again, hold on. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got to copy all this. Oh yeah, you ain't know I'm a programmer, bro. Yeah, that that's I've been programming since I was eight years old. This is that this is what I started my YouTube channel for was to was to do programming streams, and then you know I got into crypto, so now I'm starting to do crypto streams as well. Um, function call. Function. Let's see. That's gonna be call. All right. Cool. 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 And then place call. Place call. All right, so that's going to be this dot, and then it's going to be this dot caller ID. So, yeah, well, uh, it, it's it's setting up to uh, it's going to be on the recording after the live stream, but I also put in DVR so you can go back uh, to the beginning if you if you're just now coming in, even though uh, in the beginning I was really just doing scaffolding, setting up the project. So you really haven't missed nothing. But yes, it, it, it will be uh, uploaded to the videos after the live stream is done. Usually it takes about 10 to 15 minutes after the stream is actually finished. Uh, oh, right, that's what I was doing. Appear that on call. This dot answer call. Uh, 
Um, and then, oh, I knew I forgot to do something. V model equals caller ID. All right, now let's go ahead and um, run this. So we're gonna get, I'm compiling the assets and something happened. All right, let's see, complete log. Okay. Did I type in the wrong command? I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I typed in the right command. That's hilarious. Don't get in trouble now. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Um, front end. Front compiling assets. Installing mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. NPM run dev. Failed at it's probably not a problem anymore. NPM install. I don't think I installed it. That's what that that's what that was. Yep. Okay. All these years later, still doing amateur shit like that. Uh I'm tired. I've been up since like four in the morning. But anywho, while that's uh downloading so I can run my God, it's taking forever. Yeah, so I'm using a Webpack to compile my assets, but it's Laravel's version of Webpack called Laravel Mix. So it's I mean it it's built on top of Webpack, but it's uh got some extra stuff on it. Is and I be forgetting the command sometimes, so I'm used to just working with straight up straight up Webpack. Anywho, so let me just explain what I've done so far. Um, so when I create the, uh, when I put the component in the HTML, I'm going to pass in a user object property. Um, when it's created, it's going to convert that user object into the user object in my data so I can use it. I then start a, uh, new peer connection using the user user's username um, that connects to the peer server that we created earlier and then finally I just set the um, I just set the uh, that should say this I set the peer server so when somebody calls you it calls the answer call function answer call function um, basically Does video? I need that to be false. It basically uh, it starts audio true, video false, and you um, just answer the call. The last thing I need to do is add the uh, remote stream to the uh, canvas or to the. Um, Screen. Is that done yet? Nope. I got to got to do a JSON that parse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got to do that right here. Is it that? Let's 
just be safe. We better be safe than sorry. Is this shit done yet? Damn. <sighs> Alright, well, while I'm there, I guess I can do some extra research. Okay, so I got the stream. Is it done yet? Okay. Wait, what? Maximum call stack size exceeded. What the hell is going on with this? I just upgraded the virtual machine and now it looks like a whole bunch of crap is going going along with it. Run. Well, this is quite annoying. again I suppose call. Uh, well while I'm doing that I guess we can work on the um, media streams JavaScript so basically um, when you call it's gonna give you back a media source um, and you're gonna take that media source and you're gonna and, and you gotta play it somehow whether you put it in an audio tag or whatnot you gotta you gotta play it so we got a media stream and it comes and it consists of zero or more media stream track objects representing various audio or video tracks. Each media tra stream track may have one or more channels. And the channel represents the smallest unit of a media stream, such as an audio signal associated with a given speaker, like left or right in the stereo audio track. All right. Uh, 
I'm trying to find the basically I, I I learned what I did over the past few days to do this stream for uh, I had a couple followers who wanted me to do this I'm trying to remember everything on top of my head but that's obviously not gonna work uh, da, 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 get user media stream okay so we'll just do this and then set it set it to audio instead of video and then that should work all right so this to audio audio and we're gonna set the audio source and then this needs to be remote stream And then we'll do the same thing down here. And now we need to add actually I meant to add a div right here. Div class equals form group. play controls okay what I'm going to do is rm rf node modules. And then I'm going to try doing it again. So basically, what I just did here was I added an audio tag with autoplay on it. So whenever um, you call someone or someone calls you and they pick up or you pick up, then the remote stream the audio is sent to this audio tag and it has an autoplay feature on it or property on it so it'll you know automatically play and uh... sorry work again all right yeah, I know autoplay. So the last thing I need to do with this, besides getting this freaking uh, these modules to download correctly, is add this component we just made to the view. So we're gonna go down to the home view. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this and put in um, what did I call it? Oops, it's on the wrong thing. Cancel her. Don't save. All right, I was in the wrong folder. My bad. Any day now. All right. Uh, da da da. Where was I? Views. Home. And. All component user object equals um, off user slash 
call oops slash call component save that and okay I think that I think deleting the node modules um, maybe not no such file directory on my staging uh, Why is this thing tripping? Hmm. Anywho, uh, where was I? I actually have an app that that uses uh, Peer JS and it's called a non video chat that space and uh, that's for video calling and that's already out or whatnot and basically I'm doing the same thing I did with that except that I'm not doing video I'm just doing audio um, so if for whatever reason you can't I, I can't get this to uh, I can't get this NPM thing to run Oh my god. Uh sys error okay. Protocol error. Alright, I'm just gonna try. I mean the app's done. Um I'm just waiting to get this thing sorted out so I can show you the app. But all the coding is done. It's not that it's pretty simple. Like I said, I think it was less than 50 lines of code. Um, nah, not less than 50. 75 lines of code. That's all it took. Um, so. Like I said, if you if you don't have uh, experience with Vue.js, a lot of this might look um, foreign to you because we, we are using JSX compiler for this. But um, the main the the main um, logic is the same, and I just realized V on clip. Click. Hold on one second. I don't know who that is at my door. Yeah, I was actually one of my engineers at the door. He just came came through. Yo, Dylan, come say hi. Okay, if you heard you got. No, I don't even know how many people are watching right now. I'm doing some live live coding, trying uh, web RTC. But yeah, so on the click event, we need to call the place call function. That was the only thing I was missing. Let's see. Let's see. We got the form with the caller ID, place call. We got the user media. Oh, are you doing React? No, it's a view. view? They both, both use. They both use yeah. components. Just yeah, like this. yeah, and they both yeah. they both use the JSX compiler. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so yeah, like here's my. Yeah, I made the component, and there's my component. Yeah, right gotcha. See, save. Yeah, this looks almost the same. Yeah, it is. I, I I was looking at I was looking at some React code, and I was able to pick it up just like that. Yep. You do everything in Node now. Um, I do a lot of stuff in Node now. Yeah. Brian would be proud. He says hi, by the way. Oh yeah, tell him what's up. I use Node a lot for my IoT projects. That's good. Like you do you do a lot of cool stuff in like real time. Yeah. With Node. Yeah. Uh, I went to the. Did you see my video at the Neo DevCon? Uh, I haven't tuned in much. School's been picking up lately. Yeah. 
I was at I went to the Def Con at, I just came back from San Francisco a few days ago nice nice I know Brian's trying to I think for the there's like another Angular conference or something happening at some point you said the the, the video's frozen that's not good hold on one second Ugh. where's my phone Yeah, I'm I'm checking it out right now. Is the audio going through? Yeah, the audio. Can you can you still hear me? Uh, let me see. to stream OBS okay that's what everyone seems to use yeah oh the video is the video is frozen maximum call stack size exceeded alright I think when I updated this VM the other day it it something messed up because this has never happened to me before um you probably you probably want a stronger uh, laptop if you want to run OBS right yeah yeah, uh, this has got an i5. I should got some with an i7. I usually stream from my Mac. My laptop's got an i7. <laughs> it's in the car though. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do. Um. I'm going to 